welcome back to my channel um in today's video i'm going to be doing an aesthetic macbook tips kind of thing and this can be applied to any laptop even if you don't have a macbook um however there are like a few specific like tips that are like mac related but overall i think like anyone can apply this to their laptop etc so yeah i also just wanted to say thank you so so much for 400 subscribers it really like it put a big smile on my face to see that and yeah i'm just so so grateful for all of you that are supporting me currently and it really makes me so so happy so thank you so much and yeah um i think let's just get right into this video so my first tip is to obviously have a cover or a case for your laptop so i have this marble case on mine it is from lord i got it from the i store and it was really expensive for no reason like yeah um it does not cover the corners at the back of the laptop and i really really don't like that um so yeah i would suggest trying to get a case that does cover the corners however if most don't which i've found that most seem to not um oh God. Most don't, but I have this sleeve that I keep my laptop in as well. So when I'm transporting it, I literally just put it in the sleeve <laughs> like that. And it just keeps it secure, adds extra protection, which is what you want. Like this thing is super expensive, so I wouldn't want it breaking. And also, my life is literally on here. Like, yeah, I wouldn't have a life <laughs> if I didn't have this thing. So yeah, that is my first tip. Find something that is your aesthetic, that's true to you, etc. Like I think this is the whole point. Like when I say aesthetic MacBook tips, I'm just giving my personal aesthetic and just showing you how you could make your aesthetic shine through your laptop. So let's just get into the second tip, which is to have a user profile image. Now, I know this might seem like, okay, it's like such a minor detail and when actually would you see this but it's just something cute to have like when i airdrop something to myself or when i'm just like logged out and i just see like my face on there like it's all cutesy i mean you don't need to put your face you can literally put like a photo you took or like something that makes you happy just something cute but definitely just customize it to suit you like that's the whole point i then want to talk about wallpaper so that is my third tip is to have a wallpaper that either inspires you makes you happy and yeah this can be any wallpaper you can literally go and find tons of wallpapers on pinterest i have a pinterest board that I have about 500 pins on there with wallpapers for your phone, for your iPad, for your laptop. So I'll leave a link for my Pinterest board in the description box below. And you guys can go check that out. Maybe you'll find some more inspiration from my wallpapers. But yeah, just go on Pinterest, search white aesthetic laptop wallpaper or yellow aesthetic laptop wallpaper and I'm sure you'll find them. Another thing you could do is make a vision board and put that as your laptop wallpaper. Um, I do do this but for the purpose of this video I didn't. I just find my vision board is a little bit very personal to me and yeah I don't really want to share like my entire like dream life with everyone currently. It's just something yeah that's just a little bit personal to me so don't take offense like yeah it's just something that's like personal to me it might sound very stupid but yeah my fourth tip is folder icons and i think this is so underrated um i knew that you could change folder icons like quite a while back and i figured that not a lot of people know this so i'm just going to tell you guys how you can do that so i made my folder icons but 
you can literally go onto Google, Pinterest, whatever, and literally search folder icon, or you can put any PNG image if you want like a little cactus plant as your folder icon you can literally make it that so basically what you do is you find a png image or you can make a png image and that is just any image with a transparent background just make sure that it has a transparent background you literally just download the image and what you do is you just open that in preview press command c or edit go into your edit tab copy it and then what you'll do is in your new folder that you've created right click on it or double click on it go to get info and then click on the folder icon itself go to edit and click paste or command v and there you have it that is your new folder icon i think this is super cute and you can literally customize it to whatever you want you can constantly change them this is so amazing next tip which is this app it is called Hidden Me, it is for free, it is so cool. Basically what this does, it just hides all your icons on your desktop. So if you have a really cluttered desktop at the moment, but you really don't have the time to go through and sort through all of this stuff, you can literally just click that little Hidden Me icon and hide all your desktop icons and there you have it. Like, it's like a false... <laughs> This literally just takes away all the icons on your screen. It does not delete them, they are still there. You can just click that button again and it'll show all your icons again. Um, this is just nice if you just wanna have like a clean desktop for whatever reason. However, if you do have this activated and you download something or you save something to your desktop and this thing is activated, you obviously won't see it. So just turn it on and you'll see whatever you save to your desktop on your desktop. I don't really use it that much but I think when I do have a lot of work going on and I have a lot of like images and screenshots on my um, laptop I sometimes just and I haven't like organized them yet sometimes I just want to have like a clean laptop screen when I'm just doing my own personal thing so just another thing you can do but my key tip here is just literally organize your stuff it'll just save you wonders i'll do an organizational video at some point but yeah my next tip is to hide your dock and that means it just hides automatically it's not sitting on the screen i personally don't like it sitting on the screen i just think it's really unnecessary and also when i'm just doing stuff on my desktop and editing and doing like all the Adobe programs to just have this dock there. It's just actually very annoying. So yeah, I just get rid of it. So then my screen is like full screen. Um, and then obviously when you hover there, you can go and your dock is there. I just think that's better. It has a nice clean look. Everything looks aesthetically pleasing. And yeah, I also don't like this really large dock at the bottom that takes up the whole screen i just really think it's unnecessary so i've just made mine a little bit more smaller and more concise so yeah just another tip that you can do you literally just go into your system preferences go to dock and then there's little check boxes at the bottom and you just click the one that says hide and show dock and now considering you're still in your system preferences I would suggest going into general and this is where you can choose to have a light or a dark theme however this is not the next tip the next tip is the accent color now I also feel like this is something very underrated you are allowed to have your own little accent color so mine is currently pink so you can have like a red one a blue one a purple one a yellow one a green one a blue one and I think the default is blue so you can literally change that to suit you and your aesthetic um there's also a gray one although the gray one when you click it it kind of gets rid of like the red x and the minus like it makes everything gray so it's kind of hard to see what is going on like you when you highlight something you don't know what it is like you can't see the highlight i don't know if that makes sense but yeah just something you can experiment with and see what I mean for yourself. The next tip that I have is to change your screensaver. 
and I also think that this is also kind of underrated but not too much so I am that basic Pinterest girl with that like it's called the Fliku Flick something clock I'll link it down below so that you can go and download it it is for free you can just download this then you go into your um, you'll just have to download it open it and you'll just double click on it and it comes with instructions as well so you can just follow the instructions I'm not going to try and walk you through it but yeah and then you'll just have this nice clock when you're not working on your laptop and it's open you'll just see this really cute clock there's also another one that I'm going to link down below it's called the Padbury clock and it's more minimal and you can have either the white background or the black background so I think those are my two favorites i then want to talk about the launch pad and i feel like this is something people really tend to neglect and i think it's just something that you shouldn't so this is where all your apps are and everything i currently have mine all organized into folders because if you just know me i organize things into folders i like things being in their specific um, genre or category just so it's easy for me to find them you don't need to organize them into folders just maybe organize it and make it your aesthetic I know some people go the rainbow route and do like all the red apps all the orange apps green etc etc so yeah don't neglect your launch pad make it pretty go for it my final tip for you guys is to download Chrome if you haven't already and why I say this is because Chrome allows you to customize it. So you can go and browse themes for Chrome. So instead of just having the standard white Google Chrome layout that it has, you can literally go and find a different theme. My current theme is pink and then I've put like a custom background which is the same as my wallpaper currently. And yeah, it just it gives it like a nice cute little aesthetic. You can literally go into the little edit tab at the bottom of the screen or you can literally just google chrome browser themes and it'll the first website that comes up is like google chrome dash themes dash google something like that and you just need to click that and there is thousands of themes there if you're a gamer and you're obsessed with games there's gamer like browser themes if you are like wanting sunflower theme or anything literally anything it is on there so go crazy go have fun go browse go customize it and yeah so that is all the tips that i have for you guys today i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe hit the notification bell to see more content from me and yeah just comment down below if you think i missed anything and just share with me I'd love to know what I've missed and yeah I love you guys so so much again I just want to say thank you for the 400 subscribers like you you don't understand how much this means to me like wow <laughs> so yeah um I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys